Hey guys, we've just finished our Facebook Live, so I'm here to talk to you about what happened this week. This week, I've been so nervous the entire week because I've been planning so hard with the team on making our first ever Christmas Bonanza uh, a success. And I think we did okay so far. So I've only ever presented live on TV with another host or on social media cooking something. This time it's different because I need to present not only Maktok's products but also the products that um, we're working with my collaborators like Laura Chris, Pura Panela as well as Popcorn Chat. So why did I do the Facebook Live Christmas Bonanza is because I'm inspired by my dragon Zara who is in this industry and I aim to be someone with similar caliber as her one day in the future I hope and this event itself is a platform for me to build my confidence and hopefully one day be a really good presenter on your screen also, this pandemic gave us an opportunity to explore new ideas to tackle brand awareness. In the years before, we've always been doing shows after shows to get our brand out there. But this year, all shows have been cancelled and we needed another activity to stay in touch with our um, customers. So, I thought, why not let's do a Facebook Live event? And what better way to do it but through social media? So the team tonight was actually three of us. Sen was planning out the sort of like the skeleton of the entire Facebook Live event, whereas I am the one presenting it and Xiang was the one behind doing all the behind the scenes work, which is quite a lot. I think me and Xiang work really well in this event because the both of us know what we're doing. We've gone through our responsibilities multiple times before we actually go live. And we're familiar and understand the products that we're presenting, which helps because it makes our audience feel confident with what we're selling or presenting. Also, we have a flow and system in place to ensure that everything runs smoothly. So the format of our Bonanza is quite simple. It's just um, we have exclusive deals like up to 17% the RRP, Whoa. product launches and session giveaways. This then leads to our final segment, which is the super giveaway. And in total tonight, we gave away more than £500 worth of goodies to those lucky Ooh. winners. I think our audiences felt the adrenaline rush um, because they only had a minute to join the prize draw for each session before we reveal the lucky winner based on a random number draw. They also only have a few minutes to grab the exclusive deals that's during that session and that's it. And once it's gone, it's gone. If you're thinking about doing like Facebook Live or even any type of live event like Instagram Live, TikTok Live or even YouTube Live, I think it's a good idea because our organic reach for that hour was just short of 2,000 and we had about 650 post engagement. Now, that is the highest organic metric that we ever had since the day we started Makto on Facebook. Bear in mind, that's organic reach. And to be able to get that number with such a small following, we only have like 3,000 followers on Facebook. And I think it's quite an achievement. So we even launched our exclusive Christmas um, Bonanza bundle that was only available for that seven minutes we were on live during the session. And guess what? Within 10 seconds, it got sold out. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Also, collaborating with other brands like Loro Chris, Pura Panela, and Popcorn Chat is amazing because number one, they're all my friends. And we've got a few messages that came in saying, well, we've never seen this brand before. Thank you for showcasing it to us. And I'm going to buy it and try it out. I think it's like for small businesses like us, um, any opportunity to um, share our brands with other people is an amazing opportunity. So I think as small businesses, we should support each other in doing that. I think there's quite a few things that I've learned from tonight's event. So if you have ever planning to do a live, maybe take down these four tips, it might help you. Number one is no matter how much you plan, things will cock up and you need to adapt as quickly as possible. So for our case, our demo products weren't here in time. So my friends actually sent their products over to me on Monday. But then till Friday, I still haven't received any of their products. There's a delay, a severe delay in all Korean network. So get your things ready before Christmas. 
seriously don't leave it to last minute this year is so different as compared to every other year because we can't have the products to show i actually have to get pictures like high quality pictures from them say hi laura can i get some pictures from popcorn shed and then i'll just put it in front with an ipad and showing people like this is the bundle that you'll be buying and this is also the bundle you'll be winning number two for a live bonanza like what we did uh, you need to have at least two people running it at first i thought oh i can do this on my own because during my live cooking session it was just me and the phone camera that's it uh, but this one no you can't do it alone you have to get two persons to do it at least minimum so one person has to be um, presenting straight to the camera and focusing on that and the other person has to do the behind the scenes stuff so Sean was doing all of that and he was so stressed because of the system has got a bit of delay Facebook system and guys even with two people running the show it was still very difficult to keep up the third tip we need a better system in handling what is going on in the comment section like i mentioned Zhang was having a hard time keeping up with the comments now we don't have a large live audience but this is only our first ever bonanza event and there's many more to come with this smaller group we can't even handle it i can't imagine what if our audience would increase ah we'll definitely have to look into a better system so if you know any type of system that would really help us in running a good Facebook live event as well as giving that amazing audience uh, participation or interaction please let me know in the comments down below now the fourth and final lesson that I've learned is to enjoy the moment after the live event now at the end of the live event yes I was exhausted Xiang was exhausted as well but both of us were so worried that we were upset anyone because of the delay in the comments and everything else but everything felt a little bit better when we started receiving lots of positive messages saying well done guys and that they really enjoyed the entire session moving forward I think I'll need to prepare some Prosecco next to me so that every time when I finish this I'll just with Shang or anyone else who's doing the behind the scenes on that day and worry about the rest a bit later at least like 30 minutes later which brings me to a point that as entrepreneurs or if you are working for somebody else you might be an entrepreneurial person we sort of sometimes forget to recognize our achievements to be fair I'm always that person because come on guys imposter syndrome is so real if you don't know what imposter syndrome is go google that up so you might be wondering what's the plan after the first christmas bonanza well i intend to continue the hashtag the best bonanza series every month in every episode i will be collaborating with my other friends in the industry and perhaps even have the opportunity to do it with big brands like kitchenaid tefal or bosch wouldn't it be nice if we can win a kitchen egg mixer or even a bridge? I can't wait for the day when we can reach the prizes we are up to like 10 grand. Oh my gosh. I really hope that you'll join by then. But if you know anybody out there who might be interested to join us in our next hashtag the best bonanza series, why not tag them in the comments down below? It doesn't have to be food, it can be other products as well. So oops! Look at the time, it's marked up o'clock. That's all I have for you for this week uh, vlog. I hope to see you guys next week. Until next time, stay safe, keep warm, and eat delicious food. Jumbalagi!